Seth Joshua, another mighty man of God, had prayed that the Lord would raise up a revivalist who would come from the mine or from the field. Someone whose faith was in the Holy Spirit's ability and not in their training. These were days when Christian ministers were beginning to put their faith in education rather than the Spirit's leading. And Seth Joshua knew that God's work could only be revived by one called and anointed by God and not by one who was trained by man to repeat what other men had once said. At one meeting where Seth Joshua had been preaching and Evan Roberts was attending, Seth prayed, Lord, bend us. The Holy Spirit put this emphasis upon Evan Roberts. That's what you need, said the Spirit. And then Evan began to pray, Lord, bend me. During a meeting the next day, Evan Roberts cried out to the Lord in agony. Falling upon his knees and with tears gushing forth, he cried out for the Lord to bend him. As he cried out, he submitted his will to the Holy Spirit and received his grace. After this experience, he said, I felt ablaze with the desire to go through the length and breadth of Wales to tell of the Saviour. Finally, Evan Roberts had touched the power that he had longed for. God was now near, his power was present, and faith was growing to believe that God could do what he had done in Evan's life all over Wales and beyond. Mm -hmm.